Mujinga Kambunji coming in hot, hot, hot. Fire in some. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Now go ahead, please. Hit that subscribe button so we can continue to grow. When you do that, go in and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video drops. We drop a video at least once a day here on Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, when you're ready, yep, good to go. The 30-year-old 100 and 200 meter phenom who represents Switzerland, the Swiss great Mujinga Kambunji, seems to be getting serious, I mean really serious, for her 2023 season. We've been taking a look at her in training camp and people, she's truly coming in hot, hot, hot. She's going all out. Now let's take a quick look at what she's been doing and why we think she may be a factor in the 2023 season. Now, even in the cold, she's going at it. And you can see that it's pretty, pretty cold where she's at. Remember, she's in Switzerland. Now, you may be wondering why she's doing those long runs. Those runs are built, are done specifically to build endurance and stamina. Something that's really important for even for a sprint. In fact, something that's extremely important. Now, let's take another look at some other training camp stuff that she's been doing over the last few years. Now, the jumps uh, serve several purposes. One, explosion. Remember, sprinters need to be able to explode out of those blocks. Two, leg strength, kind of obvious. Three, believe it or not, balance. Balance is really important when one is a sprinter. It's really important to maintain one balance. Uh, just those little wibbles and wobbles can create huge problems. So that's why she's doing that. Of course, the next one is one that you all know of. Now, the weightlifting and strength training is pretty much self-explanatory. The idea is uh, to maintain her weight, but more importantly, to develop muscle strength, just sheer raw power. Um, even the different lifts that she's doing, you realize she's doing a leg press with one leg each. Same thing, building strength, building strength, uh, balance, and um, just basic muscular development. Really, really important factors for a sprinter of course a sprinter can't get too big uh, you have to remain remain some sort of balance i'm refer referencing balance between uh building muscle and gaining size uh, size is never good for a sprinter a sprinter tends to need to be sleek
how these explosive sprints i don't need to explain i don't think it's for the obvious reason she's a sprinter it's really important for her in terms of the get up and go her start etc i would have i thought i would have seen some block work but maybe it's not time for her to do that it's pretty early in the season however uh we've been watching her training camps for the last two years and we have to admit she has improved immensely in the last two years so clearly what she's doing is working some of those sprints you see her she's weighted she has weights on her um that belt around her actually has weight on it so there's a lot of explosion all these things are done in the hope of improving and the truth is she has improved this year early this year uh for the 2022 indoor 60 meters she surprised many i think even herself to become the champion over the women's in world athletics indoor 60 meters held earlier this year in 2022. Oh, this of course is my two cents. Bujinga Kambuji is Switzerland's top tier sprinter. However, she is not a top five, top seven, top, well, I guess depending on the situation, a top 10 athlete yet. But the truth is in the last two to three years, we have seen her consistently improving. So these training camps are definitely um, working. Her times have improved. And like I said, winning the 60 meter dash in the women's uh, 60 meters world indoor championships, that was a huge deal. Um, really, 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 really an indicator of her improvement. And I'm seeing her in more and more finals at the top tier level. So clearly this is working. Whether or not she'll be a factor in the 2023 season, it's really, really hard to say, uh, especially given the plethora of talent that's out there uh, in Jamaica alone, plus the US and all across the world. But I do believe that the rate at which she's been improving, she's one to watch. The only factor one might think of is that she's 30 years of age. But, I mean, Shelly and Fraser Price is, about, is going to be 36 this year. And I think she's doing extremely well. And Elaine thompson Hare, I think, is now 30. So, you know, that may or may not be a factor. But do I think she'll be a top three, top five athlete? At this point, I would say, I mean, I don't want to be a negativist. But I'm, I, I, I'm not seeing that. But I do believe she'll be a top, a solid top 10 and I do, as I stated, I have seen her improving consistently. And with the kind of training routines we have seen her going through, I mean, even in the cold, she's at it. She's clearly dedicated and supremely talented. So we'll take nothing away from her. She's a favorite of us here at uh, Peter Lloyd World. The team and I have interesting discussions about her. <laughs> Put it that way. But I'm definitely a big fan. I see her improving and I see her dedication. So uh, I believe she may not become a top tier top five athlete in the 2023 season but if she does i wouldn't be surprised because she has been improving consistently but this of course is my two cents i'd love to know your thoughts thought you might find it interesting seeing some of the training techniques she's using now don't forget to hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and hit that like button remember you are royals kings and queens bless up